welcome back. This is another, yes, yet another Dollar Tree craft supply haul. Kind of a part three of my shopping excursion I did the other day. Yes, I just bought craft supplies. They did have a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff out as well as Valentine's Day. And uh, let's see, what other holidays do we have? Easter, Easter, that's it. Yeah, so Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day. So I just bought up a whole bunch of stuff that I would use in crafting. They did have like um, like shamrock sunglasses type deals and some costume pieces. But like I said, I was just getting stuff that I can use for crafts. And um, I didn't get a whole lot of this type of thing. Not nearly as much as I did of Valentine's and Easter. But here we go. So they had these really cute little hats. I don't even know what I want to do with them. You know the sock gnomes that everybody was making and I made them as well. So I'm thinking I might try to do like some <laughs> leprechaun looking sock gnomes. I don't know. But these little mini hats, they come in a pack of five and they have elastic on them. So I might try to put one of these on my cat. We'll see how well that works. These are foam shamrocks. They each come in a pack of 12 and they're, they're pretty big and if you can see, there are two different shades of green in here. There's kind of like an emerald green and then more of a, uh, more sort of like a lime green almost. So I just grabbed two packs of those. I also had these gold coins. It says a four leaf clover for good luck. And then on the other side, of course, oh, bring it down, dummy. <laughs> it says um, a four leaf clover for good luck. And then it has a four leaf clover on the other side. And these come in a pack of 30. I might try to find something cute to do with those. And just like the Easter one that I showed in a previous video, they also have like this little hanging welcome sign. It says welcome with the little hat and some shamrocks hanging down. It's pretty long. I'm thinking that I'm going to cut these apart, you know, and use them as pieces to go on a wreath or something. Let's see what else we have. We have some shamrock dish towels. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. I just thought that they were cute and I grabbed them, but I do crochet as well. So I'm thinking I might, you know, like cut them in half and make some towel toppers, you know, to hang them on my oven door. Who knows? I got these two little, little leprechaun guys. And now that I see that he's got some green paint on his nose. I can try to take that off maybe with a nail file or something, or I've got a lot of paint hanging around. So I might just try to paint over it. I don't know. But, yeah, I got both of these. I can do something with those. Maybe, like, with my candy jars. Y'all know I make candy jars for every season. So, I might use them for that. They also had a ton of carnations. And I got some more. No, I don't have them on the table here. They're probably still in the bag. But they had, like, a cream color and then these white ones. But I thought the, the white ones looked better. The cream ones kind of looked dirty to me. But, yeah, they're kind of green tipped. And they have green glitter on them. Now these lights, I went back today just to get like some household items and I did see these lights in a heart shaped um, for Valentine's Day and they were red. So I got these, they are little shamrock shaped LED lights and it does specify for indoor use only. I might try to put them on a wreath or something, you know, put them on my front door. Um, I mean, it's not really going to be exposed to the element, so I would think that it might be okay for that. I don't know, but I grabbed two packs of those. I got some of these uh, shamrock window clings. You got, um, let's see, nine. You got a pack of nine. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them, but they were cute, so I grabbed them. A pack of 26 of these little puffy stickers. They're pretty puffy. They are metallic, so those are really cute. I also got this scarf. It's got like little uh, leprechaun hats on it. I was thinking I might try to use this to make a bow for a wreath. I also got these hideous, whoa, I just hit the camera, look at that. I also got these hideous looking shamrock things. I'm thinking I might try to take this stuff off of them and maybe use some deco mesh or something, you know, to make, you know, a better looking wall hanging. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just grabbed them. Let's see. We have some garland, this green garland. And I had some that had the green shamrocks. And then this one had the gold shamrocks. A word of warning here, these things seem to come off pretty easily. I mean, I just took this stuff out of the bag. I've had it on the table like less than 10 minutes and a bunch of the shamrocks are already coming off. So, you know, just a word to the wise there. Oh Lord, look at this mess. See, look, they're just, they're just coming off left and right. So, you know, I don't know. Um, here's some green and gold feather boas. I got two of those. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but hey, they were cute, so I grabbed them. And then they had a handful of these hanging signs. You know, they have these every season. You know, they had them for Thanksgiving. They had them for Christmas, Easter. Now they got them for St. Patrick's Day. This one says Irish Blessing. And this one says St. Patrick's Day Greetings. Um, I just like this one because it matches a tattoo I have on my leg. So <laughs> that's kind of why I grabbed it. Just because I, I like this deal up here. But yeah. So that's pretty much all that I got for my St. Patrick's Day craft haul. So we'll see what I can what I can come up with. I probably won't even use half this stuff, but I just grabbed it. We'll see. Who knows what I'll come up with. So if y'all would, please click that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Check me out on my website and on Facebook. I have, um, I'm on, let's see, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all that. I got the links to all those down below. So if y'all would, please, please check me out. And I hope to see y'all next time for some more holiday-themed crafts. Bye!